In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating the pH at equivalence of a titration. This is a really tricky problem, so buckle up, pay attention, this is not going to be easy. In this problem, you'll be given two molecules. One of them will be an acid, one of them will be a base. It's going to be your job to figure out which is which. Um, you're going to, to want to look up like lists of acids and bases, uh, find in your notes, which are acids, which are bases. For me, NH3 I have, that's a base, and then I also have HNO3, that's an acid. So that's my base and that's my acid. Now in all of the versions of this problem that I've seen so far, one of the molecules is weak and the other one is strong. I have not seen a problem yet where there are two weaks together, and I also haven't seen a problem yet where there are two strongs together, but that doesn't mean that that's not possible. That's just not what I have seen yet. Um, so you uh, also need to classify your acid and base as being either weak or strong. Again, consult a list of strong acids and a list of strong bases, figure out which is which. My acid is the strong one in this equation, HNO3 is a strong acid, and my base, NH3, that's a weak base. So once you've got them classified, the next thing that you need to do is figure out how many moles you have of your base and how many moles you have of your acid. For one of the molecules, you will be given the volume and the molarity, and for the other molecule, you'll just be given the molarity, no volume. So for the uh, first one that I have, ammonia, I'm going to use my volume and my molarity to figure out how many moles there are, and we'll do that by taking the molarity, that is 0.85 eight, six, that means moles per liter, and we want to multiply it by the volume in units of liters. 50 milliliters is 0 0.05 liters. So this is going to tell me how many moles I have, 0 0.8586 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.04293 moles. And I'm actually going to take all of this and kind of move it, move it out of the way. I'm going to end up deleting or erasing that. So um, just heads up on that. So I have 0 0.04293 moles of my weak base, and I've calculated that from its volume and molarity. The problem is talking about I'm at the equivalence. I'm at the equivalence. It mentions that a couple times. The at the equivalence uh, by definition that means that the moles of the acid are equal to the moles of the base. So once I know the moles of one molecule, I also know the moles of the other, even though I don't have the information to calculate it directly. So I've got the my moles and my moles figured out. Now, at the equivalence point of a titration, um, the, the moles of the acid are canceling out the moles of the base, but um, the products of the titration themselves might have some acidic or basic properties or tendencies that could cause the solution to have some sort of pH other than 7. So the next thing that we have to do is write a reaction between the two molecules in the problem. Um, keeping in mind which is your base, NH3 is my base, so that means that it is an H plus acceptor, so I'm going to give it a hydrogen, and HNO3 is my acid, so that means I'm going to take one of its hydrogens away. So we're predicting the products of this reaction, and what we want to do is ask ourselves, what's the acidity and basicity of these molecules over here? So this is where now you need to consult another list. Consult a list of uh, the um, acid-base properties of cations and anions. This NH4 is one of our acidic cations. This is one of our neutral anions. If you ended up in a situation where you had a neutral cation and a neutral anion, the pH of your solution would just be 7 because the products of the reaction would be neutral and neutral and that would give you a pH of 7. That's not the case here. I have an acidic cation, which means that my pH is going to be something other than 7. My pH is actually going to be something less than 7 because I have this neutral cation present. What I need to do is figure out how much of this acidic cation do I have and how, how is it affecting the pH of the solution? So this becomes, you know, basically one of those types of problems. What is the pH of a solution of NH4 plus? I want to write a reaction that shows me how NH4 plus is an acid. What is it doing as an acid, as an H plus donor? It's turning itself back into NH3, and it's giving uh, an H plus to the water molecule, making it H3O plus. If I make an ice table, 
and I use my ice table to calculate how much H3O plus I'm making, this is where I'm going to be able to figure out the pH of the solution. So what I need to do here is just make an ice table. What's my initial amount of NH4 plus? Ooh, here's where we've hit a roadblock. We've got to figure out what this number is because it's not being given to us in the problem. Uh, okay, so the moles that we calculated originally, the moles of the weak base, the moles of the strong acid, that is also equal to the moles of our products of this reaction. Everything has the same number of moles. So we have 0 0.049-4293 moles of our acid. Also, we have the same number of moles of our NO3-, minus, but nobody cares about that anymore because it's not doing anything for the pH. So we know that we have this many moles of our NH4+. Plus. That's half of the puzzle because what we need to be plugging in here is our molarity, moles per liter. So let's kind of make a note over here what's going on. NH4 plus to calculate its molarity, we're going to take the moles, 0 0.04293, and we're going to divide it by the liters to get the molarity. The liters, the volume that we're referring to here, is the total volume of the whole entire mixture. The 50 milliliters of ammonia plus however much HNO3 we've added to the solution. We know that we've got 50 milliliters of, of the uh, NH3, so I'm going to kind of fill that in, 0 0.05 liters. But we've also got some amount of HNO3 that we need to figure out. How are we going to figure that out? Like I said, I warned you, these problems are really hard. Um, well, we know that we have 0 0.04293 moles of the HNO3 solution. We also know that the HNO3 solution has a molarity, a concentration of 0 0.5801 moles per liter. So I'm using the molarity upside down. Using the molarity upside down allows me to use it like it is a conversion factor and it allows me to convert from moles to liters. 0 0.04293 divided by 0 0.5801 is 0 0.074 liters. That is the total volume of this solution. The volume of the NH3 that was given to us in the problem statement and the volume of the HNO3 that we just calculated based on the number of moles of HNO3 that we have. Whew. Okay, so we're getting, we're not almost done, but we're getting close. So let's calculate the molarity of the NH3. It's 0 0.04293. I just realized that I hit something wrong in my calculator. Okay, 0 0.04293 divided by 0 0.05 plus 0 0.074, our total volume. That gives us a molarity of 0.04293. Three, four, six. I'm going to go with four sig figs molar. That's our initial amount of NH4, 0.3462. Initially, we don't have any NH3 or H3O+, even though we started with some NH3, it initially all reacted. So we're, we've got zero to begin with. Our change, like normal, is minus x plus x plus x. At equilibrium, we've got 0.3462 minus x, but we're assuming that x is really small, so it is just going to be 0.3462 x and x. And again, keep our eye on the prize. We're trying to calculate this number right here because we're trying to get the pH. The pH is going to be the negative log of whatever this number is. So all we have to do is solve for x. Let's write an equilibrium expression. This equilibrium expression is going to be a Ka because we decided that this was an acid. Ka is going to be our products, which are x and x, divided by our reactant, 0.3462. We just need to know what Ka is. Wouldn't it be nice if Alex just gave us Ka? But of course, Alex doesn't just give us Ka. Alex wants to make these problems as tricky as possible. So we've got a PKB that we have to convert into a Ka. Of course we do. PKB is 4.74. PKA, remember PKA plus PKB is 14. So the PKA is going to be 9.26. 
and Ka is 10 to the negative pKa. So our Ka is 10 to the negative 9.26. Now we can solve for x, but we're still not all. We're still not done yet. We still have a ways to go. So we're going to go 0.3462 times Ka, 10 to the negative 9.26. And then we want to take the square root of that. x is, we're finally getting close to the end, x is 1.379 times 10 to the minus 5. X is the H3O plus concentration. pH is the negative log of X. Negative log of X is 4.86. Alex wants two decimal places, 4.86. Good luck.